Good morning students. During the last lecture of UVS2, we have started the second topic or second chapter of your syllabus. The name of the chapter is History and the Concept of Time. In that, we have studied the first sub-point that is division of the time and the time line. Okay. So in that, we have studied the common era or it is called as Christian era. So the short form is C E. Okay. C E is the short form for the common era or it is also called as Christian era. Okay. So this era that we started in the memory of Jesus Christ. Okay, means after the death of Jesus Christ, the common era start. Means the common era or the it is the one of the measurement of the time. So it occurs or it is carried out with the special event. So the Jesus Christ. Means death of Jesus Christ is occurs at that time. So from that event, it is the important event. So so that from that event the common era start. It is also called as AD or the long term is Anno Domini. Okay. So it is the Greek word and the meaning of that word is. In the year of our Lord. Okay. So why uh, this name is given? Because this event or this era is start after the death of Jesus Christ. Okay. So we also know that means the English calendar which we use at home. So from for example from the year one two hundred after this event it is called as one two hundred. C E or one two hundred A D. Okay, understand? So it is the common era. Now we also learn that the time is measured in different units. For example, day, then week. After that, month, then year, then century, and lastly, millennium. Okay. So these are the different measurements of the time or days. Understand? So today we are going to learn the time before the common of Christian era. Now, from the English calendar, that is year one two hundred. Now we are going on two thousand twenty. So we say that this two thousand twenty C E or two thousand twenty A D. Understand? So because this year is after the death of the Jesus Christ means. The death of Jesus Christ is occurs before two thousand twenty years. Understand? So the year which is going on at present and the uh, year that will be going to come in future. So they are always referred as C E or A D. Understand? But what will happen or what is happening before this era means the common era of Christian era. Now it is called as time before the common or Christian era. So second point of the chapter is the time before the common era. So means the time which is occurs before the Christian era. So what it is called we are going to see. Okay. So second point time before. The common era. Okay. So the period before the common era is known as the time before the common year era. Means before the death of the Jesus Christ, the time which is already spent in past, it is called as time before the common era, or it is in the short, it is called as B C E. Okay, so it means that before 
common mirror. Okay. So the period which takes place before the death of mirror state is called as before common mirror. So it is the short form B C E. Okay. Before common mirror, it is called as B C E. So or it is also called as before crisis. Before, means before the death of the Jesus Christ, the era which is takes place, it is called as BCE. Means before Christian era or before Common era. Understand? The years of this period are counted and written in reverse order. The first century before the Common era began at the year 100 BCE. And ended with one BC. For example, in your book, one diagram is given here on page number seven. So, the portion which is given in the pink color, it is the era which is before the common era or which is before the uh, death of the Jesus Christ. So, it is called as BC or BCE. Then, and the portion which is given by the white color, so it is. After the death of Jesus Christ, so it is AD or C, okay, common era or anno domini, okay. So before common era, so the years are spent which are written in the reverse order, okay. So in the picture, it is given BC or BCE hundred means these hundred years are before the death of Jesus Christ, okay. Then Year BC or BC 500 means this is the years which which are before the death of Jesus Christ before 500 years. Okay, then 1000, 1500, then 2000. Okay, so these years are written in the reverse manner means from front to back. Okay, and the years which are given in the AD or CE, which are written in the increasing order. Okay, hundred, five hundred, one thousand, one thousand five hundred, two two thousand, etc. Okay. So from this, we are clearly understand the years which are uh, written in BCE or BC are in reverse order. So the first century before the common era began at the year. 100 BC and ended with 1 BC. Okay, so it is written as 100, 100 to 1 BC. How we can write the time in CE or common era? 1 to 100. Okay, but the time is written before Christian era or before common era in reverse manner, meaning from 100 to 1. Okay, the time is written in the common era is written as 1 to 100. But in before Christian era, it is written as hundred to one. So similarly, the first millennium before the common era begins at the year one thousand. Okay, and BC and ended with the year one BC. When we want to write one millennium before the common era, it is written as one thousand to one BC. Understand? So BCE or BCE is always written in the reverse order. Let us look at the some of the examples of this method of indicating time before the common or Christian era. The lifetime of Vardhaman Mahavir is written as 599 BC to 527 BC. Means what? The lifetime of Vardhaman Mahavir. Is written as 599 BC to 527 BC. Okay, means the birth of Vardhaman Mahavir is taken 599 years before Christian era. Understand? And the death of Vardhaman Mahavir is taken at 527. BC. Okay, so it is written as the reverse, means 599 to 527 BC. 